Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday morning. We are moving right through the week. It's gone so fast. I've been like quite busy. Um, work's been crazy busy, and I've been having visitors. So I had another one of two of my friends came down from San Jose last night. Hadn't seen them for a while, so it's nice catching up with you all, ladies. And um, I remembered I forgot to send you the little link so that you could check that stuff up we were talking about last night. But um, thanks for coming. It's always a blessing. And I know Moon is happy to have us. Um, I just thought about that too. You should probably leave those little coupons here for me, right? Or just come back soon. <laughs> anyway, to the rest of you, I am going to read a poem this morning. I wrote it um, on the 27th of July, so about a week ago. And um, it's called Remember Who You Are. So I have this wonderful connection with Mufasa from Lion King. And the wisdom that he was trying to impart to the next generation in Simba. And someone had given me a, t a towel when it first came out. And it had Mufasa's big head. And he just said, remember who you are. Well, that <clears throat> has spoke to me. For those of you who have followed um, some of the videos over time, you know that I've re referenced it before. Um, so it comes to the surface periodically. Um, when there are voices that are clamoring that you're something that you're not, when you're struggling with your self-identity and alignment or um, just the reality of celebrating who you are in your wholeness, in um, all of your pieces, remembering um, that you are amazing, that you are precious, that you are priceless, that you are strong, that you are divine, that you are cherished and loved and be loved. So um, I wasn't having any of that. I was just considering because I was talking to someone who was in that struggle in the moment. Uh, not that I haven't had my struggle, believe you me. That's why someone gave me the towel initially. <laughs> but I'm not in that place right now. But there was somebody that I was talking to and they were, and it just reminded me when I went back to the conversation. And um, this is kind of what spilled out. So remember who you are. You have authority and you have a destiny. You have a part and a place. You are a leader. You're born to reign. So put all that doubt on chase and remember who you are. You're a child of the king, the father's dear treasure. You're an heir to the throne and you've been blessed beyond measure. Some will not like you, jealous and proud, persecute and plot and curse you out loud, but remember who you are. Some would like to silence the voice of your confirmation. Some would like to rule in your stead, leading to devastation. Remember who you are and, and what you know is true. There are many voices that would like to lie to you. But you are the chosen. This is your part. Follow your father with a servant's heart. No one is perfect. No need to sweat. In your father's footsteps, on the throne you'll be set. Lead with compassion and fairness. Lead with humility too. Relieve the oppressed, govern the lawless. In judgment, know there's mercy too. And remember who you are. Keep life in balance, don't do it alone. Hakuna Matata, for your kindness be known. Cherish sound wisdom and for help ask God. As a good shepherd, lead with staff and with rod. So um, that is my poem, Remember Who You Are. I hope it was a blessing to you if you're in a place where you needed to be reminded. And I hope that you will have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day, my friends. Until I see you again, bye for now. <laughs>